Welcome Dark Players 1 and all, today on Straight to the Point we're going to be taking a quick look at the throwing action of Nathan Aspinall, aka The Asp. It's been highly requested, so without any further ado, it is time for the... Nathan Aspinall Throw Analysis. So as always, we start with the position of the player on the hockey, and he's very central, and if we pause on the shot, look at that, his arm goes straight down the line with the dart, perfect alignment. And watch as he goes over for a side double now. If we just pause on that... Perfect switching, straight down the line of the shot again, even though it's to the double 16. A really beautiful player, very mechanical and very good at switching. If you just look at the angle of his arm here, we'll just pause on the last dart now. Look at that angle. Notice when he goes for 19s, it's absolutely identical. He just tilts into the shot a little bit more, keeping the throw as like for like as possible. We've already done a masterclass on how to switch targets on this channel, and that is a perfect example of how to do it though. Perfectly executed. I've noticed within his recent success, Aspinall has started to spin the dart just like that as he picks it up to his eye. If we look at him here in the world match play, again, perfectly spins the dart into the grip, and we all know he's had a lot of trouble gripping the dart. This isn't something he used to do. If we look at him a few years ago, he used to just pick the dart up quite flat very steady in his hand but this new technique is working for him it's helping him find the grip far more consistently it just goes to show the hard work really can pay off because he looked outstanding when he won the match play some of the best darts we've ever seen the asp throw other than that there's just been a few tweaks to his darts but the actual style hasn't changed much again this footage is very recently because he's spinning the dart as he picks it up and notice how he keeps the dart under his line of sight the whole time Locks through his back, little pause, flicks it straight through, finishes level with the shoulder. Perfectly executed. Does hop with that back foot quite a bit at times. Has a lot more body movement than most players, but he manages to get away with it. And just watch how he clatters into his other darts. He likes those darts to sit upright. Now we're going to look at his rather unique release of the dart to help him create this angle, but it's worth noting he does have specialist equipment to help this as well. These darts are for definitely someone who holds them more back than, than, than the front um, and they are front heavy. So because I hold them at the back and um, when they're flying through the air, you know, when, when they actually land in the board, you know, they sit up right for me, going at a right angle. Um, so because the front heavy, they sit up more like that. If I get the first one in the treble, you know, chances are, you know, you, you can fill the bed up. And as he says, that dart is right at the rear of the barrel. So he's pinching it with the first finger and the thumb. Thumb is back to himself as well. The second finger is touching the dart lightly also. And the other fingers aren't quite touching the dart. If you look at the photograph on the left, you can see those two fingers are away from it. Which opens the hand up nicely and allows you to get the wrist back a little bit further. Now just by gripping the back of the dart doesn't necessarily mean the dart will sit upright in the board. You have to keep the contact with the first finger and the thumb a little bit longer than the other fingers, causing it to pull down on the rear of the dart as you're letting it go. And watch how that elevates the point, and as the air hits the flight, it then shifts the weight forward, causing the dart to land upright in the board. There's that elevation again. And if you watch again, Nathan's release is much later than most players. Now he gets away with this because of how much he's pulling down on the back of the dart. That weight shift will cause the dart to land higher. Also, the fact he comes forward with his body so much as well, that's going to make up for some of it as well. Which is usually very frowned upon, but he's such a natural player, he seems to get away with it. And let's just watch the way the darts fly in the air also. So they land upright in the board, we already know that, hitting the target, but look at the way that dart kicks. Flight up, flight down. You can see that weight shifting mid-air. Again, draw back, straight up and over with the wrist. Elevate the point. Just let the dart kick in the air. It's more of a flick than a throw. And you have to admit, it's incredibly effective for him. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching Straight to the Point. Please remember to like and leave a comment. And as always, subscribe if you love the darts. You're really getting on my nerves now.